Yo. Welcome to another Synfig tutorial, and we're still on converters. Now, there, there are some converters that you won't be able to see until you add a certain object to the scene. And the converter that we'll be looking at today is one such converter. And that converter is the two-tone converter, which only works on a gradient layer. So let us just go and add an object to the scene. We could add the gradient by itself, but I like to have an object and apply the gradient to the object. So I'm gonna click on the drag my gradient down. And with the gradient layer selected, I'm just gonna come over here where it says blend method, click on composite and change that to onto to apply it onto our object here like so and now we have our gradient now to see the converter in the properties of the gradient click on gradient right click convert and now we'll see the two-tone converter click on the two-tone will be presented with two different sub parameters. So what this does is it separates each color of the gradient into its own parameter here so that we can control them separately. Now, you might be wondering, okay, why do we need this when we can simply use the, the gradient property here by itself? So let me right click this and disconnect the converter to remove it. So yeah, so if we were to animate, let me go ahead and remove that initial keyframe there. So if we were to animate, we have the colors here, so we could just um, change the colors, right? Like so. And then have our keyframe and then come down our timeline, change the colors again. And we'd have our keyframes. So if we can do it like this, why do we need um, to separate the colors? Well, this only gives you one keyframe. And to change each of the colors, you'd have to go back into the gradient layer here and then click on the particular swatch that you want and then change the color. Whereas if you have um, them separate, you, you're able to control them separately. And also, what if you wanted to change one color on a particular keyframe and then change the other color on another keyframe? And let me show you that in an example. So I'm gonna right click this, convert and convert it back to a two-tone. With our colors here, let's say we're on frame one and we have these colors here, Yo, like so. Body. We have this color here for this um, one and color two, I'm gonna maybe have a green here, okay? So let's say we have these two colors. We see that they're separated, right? And we have keyframes for them. Now, let me go down to maybe frame 24 and I'm gonna put a red here and for color two I'm going to maybe put a purple so we see the transition to the colors but let's say we wanted one to change before the other so maybe we wanted color one to change before so I'll click on the second frame here keyframe and drag it down so on frame 12 the first color would change, but the second color would uh, would not change yet until we get to frame 24. As you can see, the power of this particular converter, um, separating them is important because if you wanted to change one color before the other, you are able to do it. But um, it would be more difficult to do it using the gradient by itself. So that is the power of the two-tone converter. And that's all it does. Okay, so that's it for this tutorial, and I will see you in the next one. Yo, Kimari. Yo, Kimari.